Hi, everyone. About a minute on the dark money networks that are funding the efforts to ban natural gas. Now, you've no doubt heard about this, that uh, there's an effort on that's being pushed by the Sierra Club and Rocky Mountain Institute um, and a group called Rewiring America, a new group, um, that they want to ban the use of natural gas in homes. They want to electrify everything. But what isn't being reported, and what I show clearly on my latest Substack, robertbryce.substack.com, that a lot of this is being funded by dark money networks. These are these are uh, NGOs, nonprofits that are taking in hundreds of millions of dollars per year. They aren't revealing their funders. They aren't listing all of the money that they're doling out to these uh, anti-natural gas groups. And it's all being hidden. Now, this doesn't fit the narrative. You won't read about it in the New York Times, and you certainly won't see it on the NPR. But this is the reality. The reality is that these um, uh, dark money NGOs are spending hundreds of millions of dollars per year. Year. They're not disclosing where they're getting their money. Groups like Rewiring America are not disclosing their budgets. And they are, in fact, in the words of one of the founders of Rewiring America, a guy named Saul Griffith, he says they are lobbying to implement these policies. Um, and are they registered lobbyists? No, they haven't registered at the uh, with the U.S. Senate or the U.S. House. And yet that's exactly what they're doing. So I, I find all of this um, uh, very uh, pernicious, I think is the right word. You can read about it on my Substack, stack, Substack.com. The piece is called The Dark Money Behind the Gas Bands. Check it out. Thanks a lot. See ya.